What's up YouTube? I'm Harper from Crypto World Center and today we're back with another video about blockchain and crypto world. Our legal notice before we start. This video doesn't contain any financial advice. You should be investing with your own research and making your own informed decisions. A decentralized autonomous organization is a smart contract-based organization that anyone can join and quit anytime. The AO is founded on the concepts of co-creation, sharing, and mutual win-win situations. It is a digital infrastructure Web 3.0 scenario. Web 3.0, ignited by blockchain technology, has still a way to go but their vision should be appreciated. The mission of Sirius DAO is to bring decentralization and DAO governance to the asset management space, and they surely are focused on the future of blockchain technology. In Greek mythology, Sirius is the goddess of agriculture, grain crops, and fertility, who represents abundance, and I think it just speaks for itself. Sirius DAO is owned by the holders of CES. CES DAO's directions and actions are determined by CES holders through on-chain ideas and voting, and they hope that by working together, they can achieve new heights and bring profit to everyone in the network. Consequently, they are launching a novel and distinctive system called Ventures DAO. There are three main highlights of Ventures DAO. Ventures DAO makes decisions collectively with the wisdom of crowds. A Ventures DAO leverages participation from diverse groups of people with varying expertise and backgrounds, collectively providing decisions or solutions. Also, Ventures DAO operates on-chain and fully transparent, meaning, Instead of making top-down decisions from a single leader, DAO members have to communicate effectively and make important decisions through on-chain voting. Furthermore, venture DAO's participation is more flexible compared to traditional venture capital. Depending on the protocol framework, any DAO members can withdraw their participation in a DAO freely while traditional venture capital requires a minimum commitment period. These and many more have been covered in numerous articles published on various websites, as well as on their Medium page. So, you may get information on Series DAO's tokenomics and mission in this article named Series DAO, New Paradigm, or Ventures DAO. It has been published on ambcrypto.com with another article covering different aspects of series. A dual token economic approach comparable to weighted voting rights in the conventional capital market was used by Series DAO. There are two tokens in it, one CES and the other one CRS. CES being the governance token and CRS being the liquidity token. Users can get CES by minting them whereas they can get CRS via staking, buying on the secondary market or converting CES to CRS. Each DAO or node has a unique NFT from Reach Panda series, other kinds of NFTs, and the rights and benefits of their DAOs or nodes are freely transferable. The CES token can be minted in two ways. One, VC pool, mainstream asset pool. VC pool conducts CES meeting through mainstream assets such as BTC, ETH, BNB, VIL, and etc. 2. Bond pool. Bond pool minting CES via stable coins such as USDT, USDC, or BUSD. The VC pool and bond pool have a daily minting limit of 1 billion CES token. After CES is minted, by the above two methods, it will be released linearly after seven days. So we can take a look at the numbers. 50% injected into treasury, 30% injected into LP pool, converted into stable coins and matched with CRS token for LP tokens. 10% commissions, 5% for CRS buyback burn, 5% for operations, 10% marketplace incentive, 5% for DAO's incentive, 5% for nodes incentive. CRS is a liquidity token issued by the Series DAO protocol. 
whose primary role is to provide good liquidity to the entire ecosystem. In terms of access, CRS token can be obtained through CES Pledge, DEX Purchase, or one-on-one -on -one exchange of CES. It has a total supply of 1 trillion tokens. Let's look at the specifics. 60% mining pool, 10% foundation, 15% institution, 7% development, 7% ecosystem, and 1% IDO. In addition to that, in terms of CES and CRS conversion, it is carried out precisely in a one-on-one -on -one ratio and it is not reversible. And here is the particular allocation ratio of this component of funds. 10% injected into treasury, 5% injected into LP pool, converted into stable coins and matched with CRS token for LP tokens. 5% as commission and 2.5% for CRS buyback burn, 2.5% for operations. In order to obtain the compounded income, users are encouraged to stake their CES and CRS. Staking will therefore be a crucial component of the series DAO. To prevent hyperinflation, the incentive rate can be changed in accordance with the state of the market. You can examine the yields and staking rates here on the documentation page. And it appears that the APY rates are quite high. As mentioned, there are two bonuses. Nodes qualify for an additional 10% in referral staking incentives. Maximum CRS output per day is 100 million. The leftover CRS will be burned if the output of staking is less than 100 million. You can reach their white paper on this page. You can also find their roadmap and some key information about NFTs and nodes. As you can see, they started their journey in the first quarter of 2021. Right now, development is ongoing with code security audit and launch on BCS main network. In a short while, VC pools and bond support with various stable coins will be activated, as well as multi-chain support. They have a lot of goals. But I must mention that their final objective is to create a Web 3.0 investment ecosystem by 2025. In this documentation page, you can also find frequently asked questions section, which can come in handy if you need further insight on the project. You should follow them on Twitter, where they have 36,000 followers to stay up to date. They have 21,000 users on Discord, which you may join as well. You can connect with those who are interested in this project in this way. In addition to Discord, their Telegram account, which has 31,000 users, is a terrific way to communicate with their community. If you like this project, I advise you to visit their website and read their white paper for additional details. If this video was just for you, please leave a like. And if you like our content, hit that bell below and subscribe. We would like to hear from you, so let us know what you think in the comments. I'm Harper from World Crypto Center and we will see you on the next video.